going live. It's going to be live in a minute. Nope. Yep. Okay, guys. Happy Tuesday. I forgot it's Tuesday. So I'm painting brand new. Just put it on the website. Bill, it's under fall gnome truck. Sweet. Um, it's under Christmas. What am I gonna do with him? You're getting that cleaned up, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting it cleaned up. Um, I just finished a lot of the categories, so now that it's organized, I'm gonna be able to go in and really do a deep dive and make sure if it's in that category, it's supposed to be in there. Um, but like, even though like I could probably sit here and like stare at it for 24 hours and finish it, I like mentally can't like you can't even do that because you gotta think it through. What's the smartest way to do stuff? Um, so we are working on getting the website cleaned up for you guys. Um, like an easier shopping experience. I'm going to paint my truck today in Palmetto because I love it. So I'm just painting over my, um, lettering as you can see there because I'm going to go back over that in just a second here. Um, let me move this. Going around here, and this is my one and a half inch flat. I'm actually going to Walmart today and probably going to buy some more of these. So I'll be able to show you um, the package that they come in. It's a pack of two, and um, they're one and a half inch flat brushes, and they're plaid brushes. And I really like them for just stuff like this, just like base coating. They're really convenient. So let me go in and dry this. I also have my gemstone mousse in amber today, and this is kind of like the rose gold copper color. And because um, we've been kind of doing like a series on these gemstone mousses. Is it mousses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, you know what I'm saying? Like that just don't even sound right. <laughs> yeah, for this. Okay. It's like okay. Well, what do you call multiple moose? It's moose, like beer? I guess you would have to use the French. Um, for this, uh, for French, Billy? No, what? For, this, you know, say. for this type of moose, that's the French derived word. I don't know uh, about the other the animal, moose. Maybe it's moose because, like, <laughs> look at all those moose. Look at all those. It's, it's, yeah. Look at all them moose. Um. <laughs> Because it's like deer, deer. The one of our viewers of moose know. is moose. There we go. All right. Just like deer. Um, learn something every day at Build a Cross. <laughs> All right. Just like deer. PBS is going to be in here trying to give us a show. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you. I actually don't. I might have to turn it down. <laughs> we ain't ready. We ain't ready for that. Um. So they say mooses for the these substances right here. Mooses. By the way, like, share, comment. Let's talk about um. Just the French. <laughs> oh, do y'all speak any other language? Oh, Let's really? do that. Um, I don't, but I really, I talk about that. I probably talk about this on here. I want to get that Bible app and learn. I'd probably learn Spanish. I mean, that seems like the the first language to learn for sure and I would like to know another language just for the sake of knowing another language but currently I don't I mean I know some words just like probably everybody does but uh, Terry says she speaks redneck yeah we can speak that this is cotton I'm going in and painting his hat I'm going to also go in and paint a couple of pumpkins. Try that. All right, so on his hat, I'm going to do a little plaid. And so I have terracotta here. 
just going to brush my to that off and then just do some horizontal, not solid stripes, more like distressed stripes. And then I'll do them vertically. That's my plaid. Going to paint a pumpkin. All right, now I'm going to go in. Uh, one of the colors I wanted to use for pumpkin was Vintage Duck Egg. It's really pretty against Palmetto. I have one more pumpkin. And I was going to use... Sea glass, so let me find it. Yep. <clears throat> I'm also going to use sea glass to paint my back glass. So while I'm at it, I'll do that. So uh, since it's Monday and Monday is a better video, we will do a giveaway on Instagram. I think we're going to try for a while to let Mondays be the day that we do lives on Instagram. I was Tuesday. What day? Wednesday? Monday, but today is today Tuesday. Is but since it's kind of our Monday, Monday I'll still I'll we still I didn't want to correct you, but I didn't know if you if you were aware or not. I mean, I kinda, you know, it just goes in and out. <laughs> Billy, you, you were here me. yesterday? Who's all? I was off yesterday. For the office workers. Because I, mean, I 100% got a text message that said the office was closed. Right. We still ran production. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You took one for us all. Um, Tina Clausen says she studied German in school. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's kind of cool. So, uh, Wayne uh, speaks a little Spanish. Wants to learn Italian. Yeah, I took Spanish in high school, but you know, that was a joke. <laughs> I am here. Uh, Betty, a tiny bit of Spanish and some French words. Yeah, we all know some French words. I can't, can't say most of them anymore. This is also a good example of sea glass next to vintage duck eggs. These are all kind of in the same color range, just lighter uh, versions of it. Like they'd all be on the same color chart. Um, so I'm going to paint his beard in let's do him a brown oh, beard. That's not one of my person's like fine language. Oh, that would be neat to learn as well. Karen uh, used to speak Hebrew when she was younger. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, wow. Well. That sounds difficult. I think we'd all love to know Chinese for like when we're getting our nails done, you know? Oh, you But that's an lie. incredibly difficult <laughs> language, I feel like. Um, when they be talking about it's you, the, it's like they're, are they talking about me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it looks like they like the truck, so. It's pretty cute, and I don't know why I have never until this moment thought about painting a beard um, in chocolate. Like, that's just never crossed my mind. I always do it gray or um, white, but this is kind of like a lumberjack. So I'm painting his hands and his nose in putty. Um, is the Instagram live right now? Yes, we are. Um, Somebody just said they couldn't find it. But we don't have a lot of followers today. We have Go get on there because we're doing a giveaway on there. And we uh, told y'all um, Instagram's got less viewers. So if you watch from there, there's a really good chance you're going to win. Only one person is viewing right now. So I'm not hmm. sure what's going on there. Did you like? Because we're telling followers that you started your live video. Maybe Scarlet actually only went to her. 
That would be unfortunate, but I don't think so. Oh, that must be there. Am I? Mm -hmm. Am I really live on my Instagram? Yes, Ooh. <laughs> Let Sweet. me see it. No <laughs> wonder. <laughs> I wonder what was going on. It was off you made a boo boo. No, y'all, how have I never managed to do this until oh, now? Man. Like, all this time I've been doing this, and this has never happened. Sorry, she's fixing it. Look, here's all your Instagram people coming in. Like, all right. All right, guys. Let's Can't get it right every time, you know? Well, Instagram. I mean, is today even the day to do a giveaway? Well, yeah, go watch, and we'll still do the giveaway. Um, maybe if you were watching from Facebook, then you know the colors I've used, but I'll go over that too. There's everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's what a long weekend I'll do to you, I guess. I'm going over the ridges, like the outline part of all my pumpkins in chocolate. <clears throat> Just like I pretty much do on all my pumpkins. Now I'll go in and kind of highlight those with putty. This morning, it felt like a fall morning. It, it has been feeling the, much yeah. nicer the past few days. We're getting there. I'm going to paint one of my leaves in putty, and then I'll paint another one in terracotta. Yeah, so I was holding off to decorate for fall until um, the actual first day of fall. I heard it's September 22nd. So if you're already decorating, it's definitely not too early because it's like this month, this fall. Um, but now that it feels like fall outside, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of. And fall for us guys, um, it's like 70 degrees and we're like, yes. What is our, uh, what's our Instagram handle? The Bill Cross? Yeah. Yeah, it's Bill Cross. They still have people saying I can't see it, but. It's on now. We made a boo boo. That's Sorry. Good. Sorry. All right. Where is my Savannah Miss? Let's find it. Here it is. So let's use this to paint my bumper. And also, there's a huge bumper area here for you to go in and you could write your last name or whatever you wanted to. I won't do that since this is a giveaway. But there's like this little area here. And like you could have gone in and put Happy Fall in it, but this already has Happy Fall on it, so it wouldn't really make sense. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a tiny paintbrush and my gemstone mousse in amber. Stir it up real good. And um, I do stir these pretty much every time I use them because they will separate just like all paint kind of stuff will. I'm also going to go in and do like a little accent on my plaid with this. And then I'm going to dry this bumper area because I'm going to need to rest my hand while I'm painting this. And I'm going to get paint all over myself. All right. Also, could I ask you guys what you did this Labor Day? I did labor, even though I didn't work labor. I backsplashed my kitchen. Just me and Corey. We watched like one YouTube video and we did it. What'd you do it with? 
What do you mean? Like how? Yeah, or... Tao. Okay. Um, and like guys, it really wasn't bad. Like I <clears throat> definitely feel capable of doing it and doing it again. And saving so much money. Um, like it's really not bad at all. But Corey did cut all the tiles and I stuck them. So I didn't have to cut anything. Corey probably wouldn't even let me if I wanted to. Because he'd be certain that I'd cut my fingers off. Uh, what moose is that again? Is that the rose gold? This is amber and it's kind of a rose gold, copper. It's it's more, I guess it is rose gold. I, I almost want to say it's more like copper. It looks very much like a penny. And I'll give you guys a close-up view in just a second here. Everyone on this side was just like me. We're lazy and ate all day. Um, oh, yeah. I ordered through the waiter app for the first time. <clears throat> How'd that go? It went great. Yeah. Yeah. They, the door? Yeah, they delivered it on my front porch and it was amazing. What did they charge extra for that? Like, like eight dollars, which was a lot, I felt like. But it was worth it. And we have a bunch of those three free heads up. The number three free. The number three F R E E gets you your first three meals delivered free. Really? We got the a bunch of those with um the coffee trolley when we signed up. Okay. I have I mean, I ha not that you need it. If you have that code, you don't need it. Okay. But I also do have it if you need if you need them. So, um, but I didn't no, sign no. in. You have to sign in to use that, and I I didn't know that. Allison says she went to Canton Saturday. Oh, well, that's good. Did you get any kettle corn? Yes. Did you see us? She said she didn't know that we had bitter sauce up the hill and she went and loaded it up on shake. Who's that? Allison Page, 116. Oh. Good. Yeah, we've been going to. Canton um, was here before the internet even was. Um, been going to Canton for a long time. Anybody local ever been to the um, fall market, whatever, in Jackson? I think that's Jackson, Mississippi, right? When people say Jackson, near us, yeah, they're talking sure. about. Okay. I know that Kent, Mississippi has a big too. We're going to that later this month. I've never been, but my mother in law was talking about it. I'm Is like, that the Kent one? It's in Jackson. Yes, right. That's probably the same. Um, I'm excited because I think it's like an air conditioned type market, like in a civic center or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I am. Yeah, they have a pleasant. All right. Let me go in now with a little bit of black paint. Pill. Can you? I got it. So I got these nails for. Got the extra little length. And I'm going to paint my tires. Don't forget, we're talking about. What are we talking about? Second language. Okay. Yeah, do you speak another language? I don't, but I'd love to. I do not. Because. Uh, not at all? No. Just a little Spanish in high school. But. I read the more that you, like, stretch your brain and learn new things, you are protecting yourself from getting Alzheimer's because it makes your brain, okay. it creates synapses, which make your brain right. physically stronger. Um, not that I'm worried about getting Alzheimer's, but I don't know just cool like it's good for you to stretch your brain and learn new things and experience new things so that's really would be my reasoning behind it just to be able to know another language um, um some people say sarcasm is like a second language for me sarcasm is, is. another language <laughs> I because think it's your first language a lot of people don't understand it like me and i'll be like are you speaking chinese because he'll say stuff and i y'all don't understand how often i literally look at bill and i'm like Tell me right now. You have to promise. Where's the Bible? Because I do not know if you're if you're being sarcastic or if you're telling the truth. I literally can't figure it out. It's just like the uh, little thing says, speak a little Hebrew. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm just trying everything so I can outline. Yeah, 
Well, you're going to be a Bible scholar. Right. Oh, I was just going to say, does anybody even speak right? It wasn't in Bible. <clears throat> um, let's see. I did, uh, I taught myself a little, Spanish, just enough Spanish to read and get around while I was in Mexico. And I took French, like, uh, all through school, I guess, starting in, like, fourth grade through about tenth grade. I oh, said, so can you speak some no, French? No. Very, very long. Just the basic, basic to show my pen. <laughs> you know, just stuff like that. The stuff that, like, everybody Even knows. when I was immersed in it for a little while, I couldn't have a conversation with somebody. It's different to be able to pick up on a, an actual conversation and take part in it. <clears throat> I could do it on paper. What were you going to say, BJ? Shanley said her grandmother grew up on a reservation in Arizona and spoke Navajo, and she knows a little. Oh, that's that. awesome. I think that's pretty cool, too. That would be a, Yeah, and that's a, that's a language that's not written at all, too, I believe. It's, really? You know, it's, it's just passed down? I think it's uh, only spoken. That's awesome. I'm sure she'll tell us yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember the movie? Uh, the wind talkers. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. That's what they were. They were speaking about. I guess. An old version of that. Okay. Um, I'm outlining with the sharpie marker, guys. I love to use the sharpie marker with trucks. If you love trucks, we have um, a billion over, of them. Yeah, over 200 different truck themes. Do we really? Yep. Yeah. I just checked. Fact checking. Facebook. I didn't know it was that many. It pulled up 250. That includes some finished things that we don't offer. So. Okay, not going to outline my lettering. There's no need. But I'm going to highlight. Um, they're trying to clarify if what you just used the Sharpie uh, is a marker. It's the Sharpie brush stroke marker. It's not a paint pen. It's the only marker that I've used that I actually really like. We sell them online. You might can get them at Walmart. Brush stroke Sharpie. It's not a regular Sharpie. And no, Tracy, we do not sell them painted right now. But you can win this one if you watch on Instagram. Coming in and highlighting everything with a little bit of white. I love to highlight with cotton. It's definitely my go to. I'm done. I like it. Boom. Really loving these colors. I'll go over them with you. So the truck is painted in Palmetto. And one reason I like it is because you can see the difference in palmetto, sea glass, and vintage duck egg. They're all kind of like a blue-green color, but um, just darker versions, darker and lighter versions. Cotton is everything white. Terracotta is my orange. Chocolate with a little bit of uh, black mixed into it. And my metallic shiny, is this the same again? My metallic shiny is the um, amber gemstone mousse. I've talked a lot recently about these mousses. Mousses. It just don't sound right. They, they say you can say it either way. I mean, um, because I love them. They have such good coverage. My go-to one is the golden gem. And I have it here. Um, but this one's also really pretty. And I love it with the accents of terracotta because it kind of goes. Uh, so do y'all have any winners picked out? You know we don't. Well, I picked nine of them today because I just love everybody. But uh, <laughs> I see if they're like, oh, yeah, awesome. that's going to be my winner. And then, you know, but they were clean and healthy. It was her birthday yesterday. Oh, uh, awesome. Happy time, so. late birthday. Um, thank you so much for all the nine people that he was seeing on Instagram. Thank y'all for watching on there. Um, it's always fun when we have some Instagram watchers. So, um. Please email us admin at, uh, no, 
email, email support, support at build across and that's build dash a dash cross support at build across um we just need your shipping info we'll ship this to you finish um and then on facebook please uh he's actually probably going to put in that info for you just email us your shipping address and today tuesday so i'll be back tomorrow um probably with a fall shape so i'll see you guys then and i hope you have a great day